Mont Jive. It's been quite some time since I've visited this area and now I decided to come back once again to explore the bridge connecting Pickering and Toronto. I just hope that I don't get lost in the process of trying to find it. I tried to look at the maps and it looks it's not too difficult but at the same time I don't know it's like I've not been here very often not this might only be my second time actually visiting this area the last time when I was here it was back in possibly 2018 maybe 2019 no, I don't think it was 2019 I think it was most likely 2018 so I don't know how much this area has changed I wouldn't imagine it to be a lot but still, I think the biggest question is perhaps what will the bridge look like? I'm going to see the bridge floor one, and then the to the left is the first bridge mark itself. Right, I believe, at Dyson, and then after Dyson, I think we're gonna go right on a road. But I think it's either a continuation of Dyson or something else. I just have to be careful to try and keep it still, watch the battery as well, but it's kind of cold, but not so cold that. My fingertips are freezing, but cool enough that if I'm not too careful with how the battery is dispensing, then I kind of run the risk of it just shutting off. Okay, that stop sign part looks kind of busy. I'm not sure why, maybe there's lots of people also going. Actually, no, I don't think motorists can cross at that bridge though, so it should not be too much an issue unless of course they actually can. No, I think the motorists they have to well, I don't know what the motorists have to do to actually get into that area but for the people crossing the bridge on foot yeah you just have to walk through this area so that would be Tony Vale Dyson I guess further south and oh yes yeah, that's kind of one thing I don't like about this area is that there's no sidewalk. So that means that you have to be directly in the road. So that means if a car is coming in this lane, it's gonna have to kind of swerve into the left just to pass. And then for me, that means I kind of have to walk onto this property. Yeah, yeah, see, like just like that. So that means if somebody's coming from behind me, I have to go into a yard and then they can return. As to why those guys didn't just park elsewhere, I don't know, but maybe they're visitors, I suppose. I don't know if they're visitors. Would it not make sense for them to just... Is there somebody behind me? No, I don't think so. Move over to this side. The right is looking kind of busy. With the left isn't looking too busy. I should say the northbound lane, really. It's looking a bit clearer ahead, but that's just part. There's very bits of part vehicles. So I'm gonna stay on this side until it's clearer. Let this stay close to the houses. Wait, where exactly are these guys going? It's like, if they can't, Across the bridge, then which major thing does this area connect to? I can know following this road north it brings it to Kingston, but going south though, where does it bring you that special? Unless they're gonna be parking 
down at Dyson to cross the bridge. And if that's the case, then that makes sense. But if that's not the case, then it might be just hanging around. Okay, I don't think there's anybody behind me, so I'm gonna transfer over to the right again. It's looking much clearer ahead, so that's good. I don't know if it's gonna stay like that. I also have to be mindful of Dyson. They don't want to miss it. Forgot exactly how long it takes me to get to the, the wait, what is it called? Rouge Park or Rouge Beach? I don't know. It says Rouge in the name, that's all I know. And I remember that bridge. That's what I really wanted to see, just the bridge. So now three years since I have seen that bridge. I don't think I ever see this area getting sidewalks. So some people say that it's either unnecessary or that it should make an area lose character apparently. Is that Dyson ahead or is that something else? I don't know. All I know is that for some reason, walking around here is quite the hike because it's somewhat, on a, I think up there's Dyson. No, I think it's Tonyville. Yeah, it's probably Tonyville. And then I think after Tonyville, then it should probably be Dyson. If not, it might be the third intersection. No, it's Pine Ridge. It's kind of odd seeing Pine Ridge in this part of the city, given that Pine Ridge is supposed to be further north. Is that going to make me a right or a left? I don't know. No, it looks like he's probably just waiting. Yeah, it looks like he's making a left there. So, he... Or was it that she? I don't even know. My eyes weren't too focused on that driver. They're just more so worried about finding Dyson. And there's a deer sign up there. So, you know what that means? There's wildlife around here. Have I ever seen deer hop around here? No. I guess they're doing it out of an abundance of caution that you should drive slower just in case you do see a deer that you do not startle him. So I transfer back to the right side. I think she's looking quite nice. Not sure if it's cherry blossoms or something else. The one thing I can agree is that it looks cool. It feels like Dyson is quite far away. I think after Pine Ridge, I have to encounter Tonyville, and then after Tonyville, Dyson might be next. Oh, will I run into a deer before I see either of those two? No, I don't think so. Probably sounding quite depressing right now. But thankfully, I did bring a fairly large water bottle. I do think that I probably should have actually filled it to the brim because before leaving, I did not do that. I'm starting to see quite a bit of flies. So that means that I'm getting close to a large body of water. So that means, yeah, I'm close to Rouge coastlines. I'm seeing some arrows. And I also hear somebody from behind, I think. Try to switch over to the left lane. Oh, nope, somebody's behind me. It's a good thing I actually looked before I just worked like that, or otherwise it wouldn't have been too good. Always have to be mindful of those behind you. It's kind of like driving almost. Like before you switch lanes, you have to look around or else you might surprise them or they might surprise you. But either way, that's not something you really want to encounter, especially since you can avoid it. But yeah, this area is actually busier than what I remembered. And considering that it literally bridges Orange and Pickering, that's probably why. 
Or maybe it's just, I don't know, Dempsey Park Legion, I guess. The left lane seems to be safer. But the problem with the left lane is that I can't stay on this side of the road if I want to get to Dyson. Or could I? I don't know. I'll have to see what it looks like again and then from there I can make a choice. Yeah, this slope is its not extreme but it's noticeable. So coming back up here is going to be quite the high. And I'm seeing Pine Ridge again, so it looks like Pine Ridge probably might be shaped like a crescent. No, that's Woodbridge. And actually, I don't know what that is. I'm not close enough to it to make up with it. Could even say Woodridge for like here. It says Wood something, and there's no exit, so that means that that's not where I want to be making a right at. Eleven minutes so far. It might take me 20 minutes to finally get it on there. Maybe 25. I don't think it would take me 30 minutes. Or maybe if I was just walking without documenting it, just maybe to be different. But I'd rather not do that because I need to document it differently this time. In fact, last time I don't actually even know if I started from Kingston when I was. Is that somebody behind me? No. Well, actually, I probably should have stood in the left because I have a feeling that... Is that Dyson there? No, that's Oakwood. LOL at that bus stop when there are no buses that run around here. I think at one point in the distant past, they did have a route that would run around here. I don't remember if it was the 109 or something, but let's just see. It wasn't frequently boarded, certainly isn't now. And if it doesn't come back, then honestly, I'm not surprised. And yeah, for an area that looks seemingly quiet, it's actually absolutely not quiet. <laughs> then again, Pickering in general is not as quiet as it, the communities east of it because of its proximity to Toronto, so. Is that guy trying to... I don't know what to do. You know, he's just probably just being cautious. You know, I need to stay where the houses are. I realize staying out in the road is causing them to go to the far left. Okay, that's Dyson, so I think this is where I need to make a right. Yeah. I think there's somebody behind me though, so I need to move over to the left side. Stay out of his way. Right, this area, I do not recall it being this busy at all. It's quite a surprise for me, but it's just something this could be. I don't know. So busy. So very busy. You know, I'm definitely gonna have to look at the video I did around here three years ago. I make a comparison. This time, 4K 60 FPS. That time, it was 1080p. There was a slight possibility it was 720. Hearing lots of tweets, even some occasional squawks. No deers. And quite honestly, I don't think I'll ever see a deer around here. I mean, it's probably happened a couple of times for them to push the sign there in the first place, but it doesn't look like one of those areas where you'll see them too often. Somewhere like Halls Road, yes, probably every day, but here, not so much. So, okay, I think once I'm at this part, I'll have to make another right and then that should take me straight onto the bridge. Man, it's like there's never a time where I can go seemingly 
five minutes without leaving from each half to just stay off the road. Looks are deceptive here, they're definitely deceptive. But you would think that it's a lot quieter than this, but it's not. So, yeah, those guys are probably coming back from the bridge. I mean, I honestly have no idea. Just making assumptions. What I do know is that it's exactly where I'm headed. I wonder if it's actually busy at six time. I personally predict that it is moderately busy. 15 minutes. I feel like I'm getting reasonably close. I see no exit. So that means that if there's no exit, the bridge will likely be the exit that I'm looking for. Maybe not. Yeah, it's to the left right there. I think I'm seeing Dyson again or something else. So yeah, the bridge should be there soon. Okay, now I'm seeing Rod Avenue. And was I supposed to make a right here? Yeah, I think I was. Yeah. Okay. So from Kingston to this southern portion of Dyson, it's taking me about 16 minutes to find the bridge that I'm looking for. And we have a train track. And of course, lots of warning signs telling you to stay away from it. Ah, that's where all the motors are coming from. They're coming from the train crossing because I'm wondering, but wait, how is this area seemingly so busy when there is no, I don't know, ending? No open road to it? Okay, no, I don't think I'm supposed to come at this part. I think I missed the bridge. Or did I not? I don't know. Even if the bridge is on the other side, I just want to check this area out. Might as well. Never actually explored it. But yeah, I think I missed the bridge. And perfect. Nobody's there, so... Explore the playground. But no, honestly, you just know, where is the bridge? Did I miss the bridge? I feel like I have missed the bridge actually. Or do I continue down this road? Perhaps I should actually just stop here and take a look at the map and see if I'm on the right track. Yeah, all right, so I'll stop here, take a look at the maps and see if I'm heading in the right direction to find the bridge. So I'm taking a look at the maps and it seems like this is probably the right road. Though I don't think I can recall actually seeing a park on the way. I don't know, I'll find out when I get to the end of this road. If I don't see it, then I'll just have to turn back around. Yeah, I think there is a bridge there. No. no. Am I going the wrong way? Am I going the right way? Where's the bridge? Over there. The bridge is probably over there, so I'll just turn around I honestly don't even know where I am going see Rod Avenue Let's take a look at the intersection again I'm seeing a lot of cyclists going that way, so I probably do need to just go up there, follow it, and the bridge will probably be there. Yeah, I can see most of the traffic there, so I think the bridge is on that side. I don't recall crossing the train though, so that's kind of throwing me off. Maybe it is further up there. If only there was more signage that you know, okay, park is there, but I'm not seeing that. I'm 
Saint Saint Bella Vista Classico Park right there. Oh, is it down here? Seeing lots of flies, so maybe that's a sign. Or at least I would hope so. Boy, I'm lost. I don't recall getting lost from the last time. Or will I eventually find it? Oh, the bridge is up there. Because this area is quite a maze. There's no signs telling you lake this way or lake that way. You know, for some of these churches or whatever, they'd be like, okay, this is in that area with an arrow. This area, that's not the case. You have to figure it out yourself. I don't think it's there either. We're often just going in all the wrong areas. Yeah, I'll eventually find it. Eventually, just hope that it won't take me too long to figure out where it actually is. It's taking quite some time. I know the pedestrians haven't exactly been very helpful, I'm assuming that if they're coming from this way, that the bridge must be there. But I don't see any signs of it still, I don't. Now I see a red warning sign. I wonder what that's all about. Let's see. Okay, so I can see the lake from here, but I'm not seeing the bridge still, and that's odd. Oh, I think it's up there, yeah. So it turns out that it probably had to come this way. And boy, does it look busy. Not horribly crowded busy, but there's definitely some traffic. Wait, is it closed? I'm seeing a giant fence and that black and yellow checkered diagonal thing. So I'm wondering if they actually closed the bridge. Because if they did close the bridge, then that should be quite a shame. I mean, I don't think it's close. I'm seeing lots of people moving back and forth. But at the same time, what if it is? And they're just visiting something else. No, I think it's open. I see people over the other side. So the bridge should be accessible. And I'm hearing water, so that's a good sign. Yes, I found it. Took quite some work to find it, but I got there. And it looks like it's just maybe always like that. Or is this not what I actually think? Is this really rouge or? Did I go the wrong way? It's a good view up there. That's okay. Wait, no, this is Petticoat Creek Conservation Area. So, what this means is that if this is Petticoat, that I missed the Rouge Bridge. So I'm gonna have to head up there and find out where the bridge is. I was under the feeling that I was obviously lost and clearly I am. So I'm gonna head up to that white tree, or to say white and brown tree, and just find out where Rouge is. Okay, so after looking at the maps and wandering around the area, it looks like I finally figured out that this was supposed to be the path that I was supposed to follow the whole time. And that when I saw that park to the left, I should have never actually followed that path 
because it was that very path that just caused me to wander around this Rouge neighborhood for longer than I would have liked to. So how I managed to find it for the first time and not the second time that I don't know but I'm glad I finally found it now. So I'm about to leave Pickering and enter Toronto. Goodness. So next time, notes to self, when you see a park at Rouge Mont, no, not Rouge Mont, Dyson and Rod that I need to just continue to the right and not follow the park or else the park will cause me to just wander along the wrong pathway and that's not what I want to. Okay, it feels like it's kind of raining right now and yeah it does look moderately busy not terribly busy so that's good it's also good to see that it's not closed i do see a fair bit of cars parked so maybe it's going to be busier than i thought although just judging from the traffic on the bridge it seems that there is yeah, a cyclist too so it's okay when i said it was going to be moderately busy never mind i think i should actually say that it's going to be very busy yeah it's actually going to be very busy never mind moderate well, I don't know, maybe it's just this part. I think once I actually come out and actually look more along the coast, it might not be as busy as it appears. Or maybe it might actually be even worse, I don't know. But when I briefly looked over to the left where I got to see the coast, it wasn't looking too bad. But wow, that is quite a crowd. Not sure if it was that busy last time, but wow. Looks like this. People. Yeah, it's gonna be very busy. It's not a mad crowd type of busy, but busy enough that definitely gonna have to watch where I'm going and all that. Well, actually, no, I think it's just this part of the coast thing. Because looking further ahead, it's not looking too busy. Yeah, up there, yeah, it actually looks quiet. It's just this side of the park. But this side of the park is where people are parking their cars and stuff. So here is Rouge. All the things you're allowed to do and all the things you're not allowed to do. So no fires or camps or booze and all that. Then there's the Pan American Path, the Great Trail. And up there, I believe it looks like, and there was a bridge I just crossed for part of the train. And yeah, this part looks all right. But it's not actually crazy busy like the area behind me was. Actually, yeah, it looks very quiet around here. Wow. Or maybe once they actually wander further east, it might not be. Actually, yeah, okay, never mind. Up there is kind of busy looking. This side now looks reasonably quiet, but should I continue further west, then it's gonna get busier. And there's lots of flies. I hate flies in the mouth. Kind of makes you wish I had a. Well, actually, I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't say that this is fly infested to the point that it would need a mosquito net but if you're ever missed out in front of an for an extended amount of time then yeah you're so definitely gonna want to have a fly net okay wow. so because i've filmed for long enough with the iphone h plus i think it's only fair that i switch over to the razor phone to get some footage from there but you actually know what no i'm gonna continue up there maybe and then perhaps I will start using the razor phones footage once I get all the way up there. okay I, mean, I don't know how far up there I'm gonna go but now I can kind of see where I came from so okay up there was the bridge and I think I looked up at but probably the trail if you had some really good wading boots oh well would you look at that the nuclear reactors right up there wow they also brought the other devices as well too the Olympia 950 XL the Samsung Galaxy Note actually speaking of the Note 4 I should probably start that before I actually pull out the Razer phone too just so that it's prepared once I get up there I'm going to take my one-to-one -one aspect ratio photos for Instagram So it's now at the point 
where I can just... Oh, there's a message here. I wonder what it says. Oh, happy Mother's Day. Would you look at that? Isn't that sweet? 